he only stood five foot three, but David Hart is being remembered as a tower of strength. The bravery, the courage, just an average guy going off from Montreal to, uh, to be in an extraordinary circumstance. Hart's most memorable accomplishment came on one of the darkest days in Canadian military history. August 19, 1942, 5,000 Canadian soldiers landed at Dieppe, France. They were met with a merciless barrage of German fire. As a radio signaller, Hart coolly manned his post as shells rained down. He sent retreat orders to two Canadian units, saving many lives. I love my country, and I love the guys that went in with us. Hart's bravery was immortalized in this painting. It hangs at the Royal Montreal Regiment's Armory, where he served as honorary colonel for decades, making him Canada's longest-serving military officer. Hart was Jewish and proud to have played a role in taking down the Nazi war machine. But Hart also took on anti-Semitism in his own army's ranks. I can never give you not even a single example of anti-Semitism that I experienced in 38 years in uniform. And that's only due to people like Colonel Hart blazing the trail. Hart was a dedicated family man who leaves behind a son, a daughter, and his wife Miriam. Just two years ago, the pair traveled to Dieppe for the 75th anniversary of the raid. The memories of that terrible day were still etched in Hart's mind. And I called him up on the phone. I was only a sergeant. I said, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Because you're sending him into disaster. Damn fools have said, too late, they're gone. Nearly a thousand killed and 2,000 taken prisoner, but more than a hundred saved, thanks to David Hart. He was 101 years old. Simon Akineshny, CBC News, Montreal.